Okay, so you're new to mobile development and you don't know if you should be learning native development, whether it's Android or iOS, or if you should be learning something like cross-platform with React Native, for example. Now here's the thing, there's no specific answer to that question because it's highly going to depend on what you want to do and what your expectations are. It might not feel like this because usually when you Google things like this, you'll have really over-the-top articles that talk about how one is so much better than the other. How things like native is a thing of the past and if you use cross-platform development you'll be able to be twice as productive. Now these articles exist because they probably bring in a lot more clicks but the actual answer lies a little bit between both options. Now today I'm not going to try to point you towards a specific answer. Instead what I'm going to do is ask a couple questions that hopefully will lead you in the right direction to make the choice for yourself. Welcome back to the Green Developer Channel, everyone. As always, if you enjoyed this video and it's useful to you, make sure to hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Now, like I said, there's no perfect answer to that question, but let's try to kind of get a sense of where you would be landing depending on your current situation. Number one, if you're thinking about learning mobile development in the hopes of getting a job and making it your career, and you want to make sure that whatever you end up deciding will have enough jobs for you to find something that you enjoy in the field that you want to, once you've learned the basics and you feel confident with your skills. If you want an answer right away for how it is in your area right now, the only thing I can suggest is to actually go online and search on websites like Indeed or whatever other you know, job posting site there is and just compare the results that you get for both. There's plenty of markets where you'll see a lot of cross-platform development, for example, and there's a lot of other markets where the only thing you're going to see is native development positions. I know it's a bit annoying for me to tell you that, but just do the research for yourself and try to come up with an answer to how it is in your current situation, in your current area. If you want to be a bit more certain about the longevity and how it's going to look like in the job market in years to come, then it's a little bit of a safer bet to try to learn native development over cross-platform development. Native development is behind a lot more apps at this point in time, and it's not going to be going anywhere. There's going to be new features that are going to be coming out, and new apps that are going to be built on top of those new features. But then again, I don't think you should be basing all your decision on if a technology is going to stay there forever. Because as a software developer and programmer, the reality is throughout your career, you're going to be learning plenty of different stacks because things are always evolving. Cross-platform options are probably always going to be changing and it might not be the same one as it is right now that's at the top. But it shouldn't completely put you off of that idea that it's going to change in the future most likely because that's just in the nature of working as a software developer and you shouldn't be scared of that in the first place. Okay, number two, maybe you don't even care about what the job market looks like regarding those two options. Maybe you're not really scared and the market looks to be somewhat balanced or you see that there's options for both or maybe you don't even care about finding a job in that field at any point in time. Maybe you just want to build something for yourself or release an independent app. In that case, my advice would be to focus on the type of projects that you want to build. Here's the idea behind that. The simpler a project will be, the most likely it's going to be useful and a great option to use cross-platform development for it. These platforms are great and you can achieve, you know, fairly complex apps with them, but the more you push them, the more you push them, at some point you end up falling into a territory that becomes a little bit more complicated. Now, I don't mean to say that cross-platform development tools are only made for really simple apps and that they can only build simple apps, but here's what ends up happening. The more you push those apps or you try to use specific hardware or new features, or you know things that kind of make the most of the platform that you're working on at some point you start running into issues and things start to get a lot more complicated than if you were just doing those projects and working on those features with native development tools what you'll find that happens in those kind of more complicated projects is that maybe yeah there's a core part of the app that's written with cross-platform tools if that's what the team was aiming to use but but at the same time those more complicated features might have to be written with native code still either because they're not really doable at all with cross-platform tools or because it's just that much simpler to you know transition to using native code for that part of the project which means that if you think it's something that's going to happen a lot with your project you might be better off just working directly with native platforms so that you don't have to basically learn 
three different tool sets to build apps on two platforms. Now this general idea kind of works too if you're thinking about the job opportunities you're looking for. Regarding my first point, maybe you don't really care that there's more jobs in one field than the other because it's not necessarily the type of job you're looking for. For example, if what you want to do is work at a really established company working on an app that's been there for ages because you like the idea of working on a really complicated and big project and just making it better step by step. Well, you'll find that most of these big projects and companies still work with native development over cross-platform. Because in most cases they have the resources to have people that can focus on that part of the project, whether it's maybe iOS or Android, and they don't really have a need for you know shrinking down their team so that they can work on both platforms at the same time. Those big projects want to make the most of the platform they're working on and want to make sure that things always work great and don't have any issues with them. It's just an inherent fact of working with cross-platform that's not the case with working on native platforms because at its core, it's a platform that's built on top of two other, and so it's bound to have more instabilities and more problems with it. They're maybe not always very apparent, and most of the time they don't really come up at all, but it's just a fact that there's going to be a little bit more friction with your platform when you're working with cross-platform development. But then again, maybe working on one of those big projects or those really established companies is not what you want to do at all. Maybe what you like the most about developing apps is the process of starting new projects and coming up with new ideas. And so you see yourself working at startups and going from one company to the other to build the start of their products and prototypes, for example. Now, in that case, there's a much bigger likelihood that you'll find job postings for cross-platform development. These companies really aim to have something that's built quickly and that they can test out and get to market quickly so they see if it works the way they were thinking it would. Maybe they'll start with cross-platform development so they can work out the basics of their apps and the first few iterations and then maybe add native components later down the road when they have to work on bigger, more complicated features that aren't really accessible to cross-platform tools. That's not to say that all startups work with cross-platform at first, and that's not to say that big companies and established apps don't use some cross-platform development within their projects. But the balance does shift a little bit towards one or the other, depending on the case you're looking at. So there's obviously a ton more that we could look into regarding that question, but hopefully those few ideas can get you started thinking for yourself about what you're trying to achieve and which will be better suited for you. If all you're worried about is the fact that there's going to be enough jobs for what you learn once it comes time to apply for them, just look at your current job market and decide based on that. If you want to build simple project, things that don't necessarily leverage every single thing that a phone brings to the table and all the sensors and the complicated new APIs and tools that come out with native, or if you want to work at startups, maybe on prototypes, maybe working with MVPs because that's what is the most interesting to you, then maybe cross-platform development will be interesting to you in that sense. If what you want to do is build something that's really complicated or you want to work on really big projects that try to get the absolute most out of the platform they're using to make sure it's performant and it can use every single new fun tool that comes out with the native platforms, then maybe you'll be better off working with native development. Anyway, the whole idea behind that is to try to make a point that there's no perfect answer for that and it just depends on your situation. It's not true at all that you're going to end up writing two times less code if you use cross-platform. There's a high likelihood that you're going to have to end up writing native code for those cross-platform projects, and so that's not true at all. And it's also not true that native development is always the option for every single project, because there is going to be instances where your project is simple enough and can be done a lot more quickly using cross-platform development. Anyway, I'm going to stop the video here so that it doesn't take too long. If there's anything else that you would like me to talk about regarding this specific topic, whether it's something that I have an answer or a point you would like to add to it, make sure to leave a comment down below. I'll either get back to you in the comment section down below or I'll use it as a starting point for another video I might do in the future. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you all next time and until then, take care.